So I'm over here at my mother's house where I built the second coaster that I that I done for my nieces and nephews and I'm gonna do a little how-to vid here on some of the things I done wrong and the likes of that. I guess for starters, um this is what I call the cross member support right here. These right here, and uh, they're made from 4x4 treated pine. I've got one. On this track, I have one every two feet, which is a little bit of overkill. Um, that would support someone up to 250 pounds. Um, if you would go every every three feet four inches, that would you know that would hold pro probably most any kind of kid up to about 140, 50 pounds. Um, so this pipe here is PVC um, Schedule 40 pipe, and I cut it in half on a table saw. Um, this is, you can tell where the seams are. It came in 10 foot sections, so I just put one screw here on each side to hold this together. It probably wouldn't hurt to put a few more. Um, so first I, first I went and cut all the 4x4s in 2 foot sections and cut the half moons out right here for the pipe to lay in. Done that with a jigsaw. It wasn't just too time consuming, but it did take a while. And then I had my nieces and nephews help me paint everything, and then we just assemble it. I have a sh shot here on my iPhone that I'm going to cheat and just show it to you here real quickly rather than uploading everything to my computer and doing it, and uh, show you how it looked when I first started it. Okay, I just walked into a room here to where I could um, get out of the light and show you how the track looked when I first... This is after I had the PVC pipe, um, just got through assembling it into the cross member support, and... Uh, I'm just shooting onto my phone here so the quality sucks, but anyhow, um, that's how it looked. So then I'll show you my next step that I've done after that. Okay, so here's some more pictures. Um, this is when I start putting the temporary um, supports beneath the beneath the track, and this was to get my heels and stuff the right height. Uh, I just, everything is temporary. You can see how everything's just jammed underneath, propped up. Uh, I was just getting everything the right, the correct height to have the cards come back over the hill and everything. So um, this is when I finally got the bottom return ramp high enough. It was just a, it was kind of like an illusion. You, I, I thought it was going to re require about a seven foot, eight foot return ramp. Ended up being 13 feet. So I just didn't do my homework before. But then after this, I went ahead and just replaced the under supports, <clears throat> the temporary ones I have in there. I'd pull one out and put it and put a permanent one underneath and just so on and work my way down through it with a level and until I had everything replaced uh, with permanent. Didn't just didn't take too awful long. So here's a video of when I was doing some of my test runs. Once again I'm sure the quality here is going to be pretty bad. And this is after I had everything calibrated about the way I wanted it. Uh, this first little camelback hill was still not tall enough. You can see how the cart returns back over it, which is not what I was aiming for. So I had to raise this little heel right here about six inches. So anyhow, then here's we're looking at the same thing that you just saw on my little iPhone videos. Um, this is after I had the permanent stuff put in place. Uh, the only thing of importance that I done here was this is a solid post in the concrete right here. And uh, I had I was a little bit leery about the whole entire um, coaster slipping down this hill since it's on a pretty steep side hill. So that little concrete post there, along with the four, the four down here that are into concrete, these four right here um, is all I done to keep the whole thing from coming down. And probably wouldn't have even had to have that. And then everything's just tied into this little, this little tower, little pillar tower that I built right here. This net is just for safety in case a um, in case a kid falls off up here. They're not going to fall 13 feet down. Um, I just went and took a volleyball net and cut it in half. It worked just fine. Only had one mishap when um, a little five-year-old or four-year-old got pushed from the top by someone older, and she hit the top up there and flipped out into the net. So no pushing is a good policy. There's not much more to say about how to build these, really. Um, just takes some time, time, and a little bit of trial and error, but there's not much more to it. If you do it this way, the reason I used the store-bought ramp was because of the 
I wanted to have the little car that came with it just as a fail safe to where I wouldn't fail too badly if you know things didn't go right. I always had the little car that I could make a track for that. When you build your own car you can run into a lot of more problems. You can tell we finally did build our own car right here and it works just fine but this little green one right here comes with the store-bought ramp if you buy that for like 250 bucks it gives you a little jump start and uh, not much more to it really.